All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is gonna be an unboxing of the all new Axial Wraith Spawn Rock Racer. This is their newest one-tenth scale electric four-wheel drive kit version. So right up here, you're seeing the kit version. Um, pick this up. I can't wait to actually uh, get my hands on this thing and actually build it. Um, if you're familiar with the RC Network, I've never actually built a Wraith kit. Uh, my first Wraith I picked up was an RTR also picked up a, a RTR SCX-10 way back in the day, but this is going to be my first kit version of the Wraith. So I really can't wait to uh, build this thing and really get into the nitty gritty of an actual Wraith kit. Now being a builder's kit, it will not include any electronics. Uh, you do have to put the entire kit together. You'll have to paint the body and various other things throughout the kit. Now I will be doing build updates on this kit and I have a kind of a twist for you guys with this Wraith Spawn. So stay tuned for that in a later episode. Um, I can't wait to reveal that as well. It's kind of tight uh, knit right now at the RC Network. So um, stay tuned for that. If you haven't also, um, check out my Facebook page. I post things on there kind of impulsively. <laughs> Uh, throughout uh, the day so uh, definitely check out that like the page that way you'll get updates on what I uh, post uh, sometimes I post things just because sometimes I post things not just because so uh, take a look at that anyways uh, this is the unboxing so I know unboxings of kits are not the sexiest thing in the world but you know, if you happen to have this thing on pre-order or waiting for this to come in, this will give you a good idea what to expect. Maybe you forgot something that wasn't included in the kit, but these are all things I'm gonna go over, along with the upgrades that you'll find in the kit version versus like the RTR Ray Spawn, which I actually own as well. So, really cool with this uh, kit version. Uh, not only does it include the cool Spawn uh, updates, but it also includes some cool updates and upgrades that you didn't find on the RTR, kind of what I said earlier. So um, right here we're seeing kind of that cool red color. Um, Axial released the video for the Spawn kit version uh, just a few days ago, and it's pretty cool. I mean, that thing is, is um, it looks really cool, um, at least where they were filming it at. Um, and I, I've got to say they've done a great job on uh, this rock racer. So uh, right here, let's go over some of the upgrades you do get inside the box. Um, immediately, uh, the Wild um, Bore 8 HD drive shafts, um, I believe was included on the RTR as well. Waterproof receiver box, durable skid plates, and we're kind of seeing those aluminum links right there. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, one really cool thing about the Spawn was it actually included um, realistic uh, driver figures. So I know a lot of people are trying to get a hold of those um, if they had an existing uh, Wraith and wanted to add that to it. So also includes that. That does have to be painted up. On the flip side over here, take a look at this. You do get the dual slipper clutch. Uh, this one does come with the universal joints on the front. So very nice um, added uh, touch. Stronger steering so you're going to be able to um, get a little bit wider uh, steering angle and then it's just a stronger joint altogether. Uh, right here, spur gear cover, and then uh, easy diff access just by pulling off uh, the back of that uh, diff cover. So on the back side here, and of course I flipped it the wrong way. There we go. So this is some of these upgrades that come actually in the kit here. You do get the Icon aluminum shocks, which these things are actually pretty damn good. Uh, very rend rendition of the Yeti shocks. Uh, but of course with the Icon logo, all aluminum body shocks, just a, a lot nicer shock than the plastic bodied one. You get the 12 millimeter hex, uh, aluminum hex hubs uh, on here. Uh, those are those aluminum threaded links I told you about earlier. So pretty much your lower links are going to be all aluminum. You still get the plastic uppers, uh, but it's nice to have those aluminum ones on the bottom here. Um, on down on some of the other upgrades or some of the new things here, uh, maybe not for uh, the spawn, but definitely for the Wraith. Method 2.2 uh, plastic beadlock wheels, which are pretty cool. And this is the first here at the RC Network. I have never had these before, but I've heard great things. Uh, these are the Maxxis 2.2 Trepidor tires. These things are pretty famous out there. These are the S30 compounds, so I'm really, really intrigued to see um, you know, the, the feel of those tires and 
we'll see that here a little bit later on in this unboxing. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, get this thing unboxed. I got some fresh seals right here. Let's get these things cut open and out on to my workbench here. So, um, got my trusty spider coat here. Let's flip it open. Um, Axel does actually some pretty cool seals on here. Kind of a shame to just cut right through them, but uh, uh, that was this spider coat is meant for. And let's see if there's any artwork inside here. Ah, uh, no artwork, just plain white box. So uh, there's a look inside, very well organized, and uh, uh, <laughs> not that kind of just mishmash of parts, bags, and whatnot. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't flip this thing onto the side if I don't get a whole white screen here. Um, and I'm just going to pull these out as I, I get them out of the back here. So plastic one. Uh, one thing about Axial kits is you are going to be going through different parts bags uh, looking for parts. But in the beginning of the owner's manual, it'll show you kind of like a key of each uh, parts bag, which is pretty cool. So uh, there's plastic one. I see the uh, axles and the diff covers and uh, all that sort of stuff. So all the, the eyelets there and some shock parts and whatnot. Next bag, this is going to be the interior, that very sought-after interior. I'm also seeing light buckets. I, I saw that on the Axial uh, release, it showed the um, actual kit here with some lights working. So kind of was unsure. I didn't see anything mentioned about it, but do have some light buckets included. Not sure if there's actually LEDs, though. We'll see that a little bit later on here. Right here, here's those Method 2.2-inch uh, uh, beadlocks. Um, these are actually pretty decent. Um, I've heard a couple of tips and tricks to get these things to hold on to the bead very, very well. So I'm going to be going over that in a later episode. Um, on down here, as I'm just pulling things out, wow, this, this, this bag is heavy. This is bag E, or there's a bunch of little tiny bags inside here. But this is all the, this is the glory in here of a Wraith kit. So I'm checking out some universals. I see some lockers. Um, the slipper pads, the bevel gears, and whatnot. So, lots of um, metal in this bag. So, nice to see that. All right, so here's going to be those Trepador tires. Uh, if you haven't used Trepadors, I've heard some great uh, things about these. Uh, very reminiscent of the, the Proline, uh, I believe they're called flat irons. That, that's it. So, uh, it has that real kind of notched look to it. Um, and you can actually even kind of uh, cut off every other one here too to get even a little bit more grab as you're going. It does have some open cell foam uh, inserts here which I plan to hopefully do some crawler innovation foam so but uh, I do plan to run these uh, stock and I can't wait to uh, test out the performance. The S30 compound here feels very very sticky and very happy with the compound of these Maxxis Trepidors. So I'm going to pull out all four of those. All right, it's station wagon time, guys. Here it is. I, I actually kind of like this body. It is not pre-cut, so you do have to cut out the fender wells and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I, I actually, I really enjoyed it on my, uh, the RTR version of the Wraith Spawn. And it has a cool look. I, I plan to paint this a pretty cool color, so stay tuned for that. And um, I have some pretty cool graphics coming in for this as well. So not really to see too much on camera here, but that is the body here. All right, we got big bags now. Plastic 2. We have all the aluminum ladder links. Now, one thing that's cool with some of the Axial kits is not only do you get the upgrades, but you get the stock parts as well. So, I'm seeing all eight of the ladder um, assemblies for the underneath of the carriage. And, uh, you know, it's nice that they just include those things. So, right here, you're seeing the huge skid plate, battery plate, a um, bunch of links and whatnot. Plastic 3, this is going to be some of the interior pieces. We got some skull heads, motorcycle, a motocross, and then we got kind of like the Stig helmet right there. Uh, there's that cool battery box that kind of looks like a V8 engine. Um, and then on here, this is all the cage. So some pretty cool tube chassis cage. Um, also some rock sliders I see on there as well. Um, and the last couple things in here, and actually the last thing, this is going to be the actual owner's manual. Um, and Kind of, uh, I'm very familiar with some of the Axial owner's manuals. Um, we do have some double-sided tape, thread lock, we got some grease, battery straps, a couple of tools in there, antenna there for your antenna. We do have a sticker sheet right here for your window decals, uh, just to mask those off. And of course, the all-famous Axial 
uh, sticker sheets. So I do have an interior sheet right there for the seat belts and the interior pieces and then also the big sheet right here. Looks like we do have window decals, very HPI reminiscent um, and then also the front grill right there, all the different grills and whatnot. Back windows, looks like it has some back tinted windows which are pretty cool. You can kind of see there's the front window, there's the back one or the rear windows. So pretty cool. I also like the license plate. There you got some little California-esque uh, um, uh, license plate right there and also the uh, California Republic flag. So pretty cool. Well guys, that's my unboxing. I I can't wait to show you guys what I have planned for this thing. It's, it's some pretty cool stuff and um, I got a lot of stuff headed in here to the RC Network to kind of show off some new products and uh, a whole new direction for an axial race. So stay tuned for that. If you have any comments or questions, please post those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.